Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's February 16th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Brian, last week when we uh, recorded this report, we said that everybody was watching CPI and wanting to see what happens on the January reading for inflation. What did we learn? It uh, certainly delivered. Uh, we got a, uh, a bigger than expected uh, CPI number on Tuesday, which triggered a sell-off in Treasury rates. Uh, we certainly saw some pretty decent price action in that market. Uh, followed a little bit later in midweek uh, with a little bit of a rally back, bounce back. But then PPI this morning uh, also uh, surprised a little bit to the upside. So Treasuries were back in a sell-off mode. So in the front end of the curve, which is most uh, you know most subjected to whether or not the Fed will um, move uh, move rates. Uh, we saw the two-year sell-off about call it about 20 basis points or so uh, as we're recording this video. Out long, 30-year uh, Treasury is probably off more around nine or 10 basis points or so. Uh, but definitely some uh, some good uh, rate movement uh, overall. We've got the 10-year at about a 430 yield and the 30-year at about a 445 yield as we're recording the video. And in terms of tax exempt prices, still we're seeing uh, retail reluctance, right? Another uh, modest uh, but but continuing outflows from municipal bond mutual funds. But the market, there's enough uh, cash coming in from redemptions and, and principal payments that it's really still kind of moving in lockstep with treasuries. Yeah, we're, you know, on the muni side, definitely outperforming the sell-off this week. Uh, again, as you mentioned, the, the muted supply, we had about five and a half billion that priced in the primary market this week. Uh, so that really wasn't enough to kind of put any sort of pressure uh, on muni rates. So we, the muni curve was really kind of flat, you know, maybe off about two or three basis points up and down the curve, a little bit more in the front end. But um, uh, but overall, munis perform really well. What deals did price? We saw a ton of subscription. There's still lots of money that needs to be put to work. You mentioned, you know, mild outflows. Um, in the fund side, uh, obviously SMAs between reinvestment money and uh, and some fresh cash flows uh, are still uh, are still an attractive um, place for people to put money. I feel like in our production meetings, we're going to have to talk about whether we keep using that slide about mutual fund cash flows <laughs> or we find something else to uh, be a proxy. Let's talk about the uh, the new issue market because there was one standout deal for BAM this week. Uh, how did that perform? Yeah, uh, you know, BAM had a very active week. We priced uh, about three hundred million on the primary side. Uh, that was headlined by uh, a large deal for Rowan University, uh, about 160 million, uh, which uh, which was priced by Stiefel, uh, and that uh, the the feedback on the deal was that it priced really well. Uh, next week, uh, supply should be around the same, five and a half billion, maybe maybe a little bit more, uh, with the holiday shortened week, and, and we anticipate pricing another 300 plus million. Um, the highlight there is going to be about $150 million deal for uh, Clear Creek School District. Uh, that's a, a lease deal in Oklahoma. That's going to be priced by DA Davidson. Uh, and then there's also a couple of other um, notable transactions as well. And uh, we have a couple of Credit Insights videos on the transactions that priced this week. AJ Kelly and I talked about that Rowan University transaction. It's building the first veterinary school in the history of New Jersey. So uh, an interesting uh, new money uh, built by bonds investment there. Uh, Alexis Plattis and I I also talked about the Osceola, Arkansas transaction. It's a sales and use tax uh, bond issue for parks and recreation improvements, and that's a BAM Green Star Green Bond issue. So you can learn more on BAM's YouTube page about those. Thanks for your time, Brian. Have a great weekend. You too. Thanks, Mike.